Today was a good day. Hey guys, I'm doing a boat review of my 2022 Bass Cat Caracal that we just picked up this weekend. This is her tucked away in the garage. It's been a dream. Me and my dad have fished for the past 10 years really heavy out of our Stratos. And we just picked this puppy up. It was a FLW, uh, the first uh, testing model that they had. So we were able to get a sweet deal on her. It's decked out with all the features. So here we go, let's hop into it. Starting off here, we have the trailer. Comes with a swing tongue straight from Bass Cat. This sweet step that's super sturdy. You can handle it with all these 200 pound guys. Jump right on it, do a cartwheel. Thing won't bust. It's the best swing tongue in the industry. Clearly it wouldn't fit in our garage if we didn't have it. So this puppy's a lifesaver. Winch is badass. It's able to winch this heavy ass boat way up on the trailer when we're uh, loading it back up. So it's super, super nice. As you can see, it sits on this trailer sweet as Bass Cat Custom builds it. Um, I was waxing it before. The hubs have this special finish on them, just as the boat does. Uh, you don't see that on many trailers. It has uh, the upgraded trailer rims, whole package we got with that puppy. All right, let's hop up in the boat and uh, I'll show you what uh, what's in store. All right, so uh, we're up here on the boat uh, just for just for fun. I'm gonna lay this here and see if you can see me. Uh, I can lay across the boat like this completely. Uh, my head doesn't touch the gunnels. And I'm, I'm 6'3". So, I don't know what that says. But this is absolutely massive platform. I gotta watch this. But if you come up to the front deck up here, we, we're rocking the, the Ghost with a, a 9. Uh, we plan on getting a 12 to, to duel this. That was the only thing that this thing didn't really come jacked up with was a crazy 12. But the nine's absolutely amazing, no complaints. And uh, over here we have two stomp pedals, uh, fits a tiny box. I think you fit like a, uh, a little bigger than this. I have a tiny one up here just because it fits nice and snug. Um, Ghost is crazy, absolutely recommend. Um, it actually charges the battery a little bit when you run this. Uh, not really sure how it works, but got the dealership said it's sweet. Up here, we have a day box. Um, in here I got an umbrella rig, this. I'm sure this will get full as we start fishing or heavy but i literally just got it the other day uh swinging over to the side over here um that comes straight out of here absolutely awesome all this stuff fits perfectly in here i probably have 25 rods which is absolutely absurd boxes light up um in here i don't have anything yet because this boat has so much storage i was just doing rods over there and i plan on putting them in here too um i got new racks because the flw actually took these out so they're coming when supposed those come i can put the rods in here but you can see a lot of guys you can use different storage that's why there's no things down here but i want the racks because you'll see in a second in these boxes i was able that's like absurd this you could fit you, you really curl them into a ball you probably fit in this box it's nuts uh, rust guard has the fans on here. Um, one, two, three, five. I probably had like 15 boxes in there. All my hard baits, jigs, everything. Chatter baits, top water, crank, everything. You name it. It's in that box. All right, in here. This is interesting. We have, I managed to fit four, three of four of these, which have hundreds of plastics in them each. Bigger swim baits and stuff. This box is the same as that box. Absolutely awesome. Again, lights up. And then over here, I have just a couple little things, uh, big hooks, more baits that are bigger that didn't fit in there up there. My big swim baits tucked away. I don't really go to them often unless I'm on a big clear bodies of water. Here we have all of my terminal tackle, etc. Lights up again, sweet. Um, you can see the dash here. This is absolutely absurd. Um, this is on the boat. This isn't a sticker by the way. NLF, a sponsor, cup holder over there, a couple rage claws in there. These all in the gunnels, um, if the power was on, this would light up. These aren't recessed, but the way they built it, it's tucked away to where it's still flush, if that makes sense. So no complaints there. Um, you don't need them flush. They built it flush. So they didn't have to, it makes it stronger overall. If you don't have it flush, it's just a hard mount. So I like that. Um, 
We got the pole straps up here. You can move the seat actually a little further and you could be right over the nose, which is crazy for live scoping. Okay, now moving back, oh, one more look at that actually. Moving back, I am in the helm, I th I'm not cockpit, whatever, whatever it's called, I could have messed that up. This is the dash of the boat, absolutely magnificent. As you see your gauges here, I'll explain that in a second, but down here we have two coolers. That one we use as a day box because I don't need two coolers. And over here is just a big cooler. I throw my phone and stuff in there and whatnot. Over here on the side, we have a rod box, but I put my scale, a little couple um, real cover guards. Um, there's my measuring tool to see if they're 15 inches or not, or whatever the limit is. The size when we're in tournaments. Cup holder right there, absolutely beautiful. Two drain holes. Um, all of these seats lift up and there's stuff under there. Huggies, can't forget those in the water to take a dump. Um, all my license and stuff I keep in there. Over here under this seat, I put rain gear. And then under the center box, I put all of my culling gear and my ropes. Okay. And then moving over to the cockpit. Absolutely beautiful. We got a hot put, put on this puppy for uh, rough water. Um, shifter and whatnot, switches. Then here we got uh, live well gauges. Um, one more look at the dash up close. Charger, power poles. This will actually tell you um, how much power you're you're putting out. It's kind of confusing, I'm still trying to learn that. Wheel is absolutely beautiful. You get a great grip on this puppy when you're ripping down the lake going 70. Um, over here we have the aerator. All this stuff's for the live well, pump in, pump out etc etc this is an alarm system which is beautiful at truck stops when you're alone uh, i'm not going to disclose how that works because uh they tell you at the dealership when you buy the boat actually so that's a best cat uh, secret that button fan fans all the compartments the first accessory uh that you could put to whatever you want that's actually a free accessory so that's completely free we have fuel gauges which you can click this and it switches over to show which on the gauge how much gas you have but if you want to switch your tank there's actually a switch back there. A lot of guys confuse that when they click that switch. So don't do that. That'll just switch what your gauge reads, not your actual tanks themselves. Guys will click that and think they're running the right tank, but they're not. You have to actually have to switch it in the back to uh, get that to happen. Over here we have bilge, leave that on auto, horn obviously. Um, and then extra lights. These gunnels actually glow red along with all in little hidden parts on the boat. You don't even see glow all these colors. So that's absolutely insane all right now moving back pop these puppies open giant giant live wells i'm talking you could fit you could fit a ton of bass in these like no problem no problem you could fit your five you could fit a co-angler's five on top on the other side and they would have no issues swimming around and having space this is one of the bigger live wells triangular shape prevents the splooshing of the water down the lake as much. It kind of stays a little more level than a, a traditional square live well. So that's pretty cool. Back here, we have more of these I put. Um, those are just more big swim baits and some craws. That's all my leadering material. Okay, we're done with that box, simple. Back here, I put this here just just for weight purposes because i kind of put everything, everything on the right side so i need to balance it out by uh putting all these extra plastics in here and uh this looks small i don't know why i guess it's just a that's me on the actual side here's my foot next to the box but this thing is deep like i probably have 20 of those bags in there and then underneath all of this it's my spinnerbait box is square um it just fits nice in there it's awkward to put in other boxes and i don't use them much so they're away but uh that's that. So that's pretty sweet. And then uh, moving to the back over here. This is the back that I can actually stand over here because my garage is high enough. But uh, I'm in fish eye mode with my camera. But as you can see, this is this is almost as big as the front deck on other boats, the back deck. It's giant. Same width across. You can lay across, no problem. Moving back here, we have a 250 uh, racing motor, Mercury. The bottom units, it's that silver racing 
lower unit. So this thing absolutely rips in the water. Then we got the dual power poles. I, I don't know how long they are. It's, I think it's the max they can go. I don't know if it's 10 or eight feet, but I think it's one of those. These things are the best, way better than the talons. Do not get the talons. Talons scare fish away. Those ones that go straight down, if I'm saying the right brand, they go, I had done on my own boat, old boat, and they were so loud. These puppies nicely anchor out into the water and touch the bottom and then secure your boat. They make a little noise, but that the talon is like scare all the fish away noise. So uh, definitely recommend those over any other power poles. That's basically it. This is the boat. I actually really like this. When my dad hooks some fish, if I'm in the back, I actually walk up this quick instead of stepping on the seats. Um, I'm younger though, so that's definitely a perk for being a 22. That's it. One more spin around or a panoramic view. Bang. Till next time. Bass cat boats, baby.